let's talk about <coughs> project management education. Most of us in this room are probably PMPs, or are at least thinking about becoming a PMP. And if you know Frank, you know the, the value of the cafe. <coughs> So the question that was asked online was, what are your thoughts about the future of some of the new certifications that PMI has been rolling out, specifically the Agile certification was uh, written about in the question, and other um, project management certifications that PMI offers? And since they specifically mentioned Agile, why don't we start with uh, George? Sure. Um, I, I see certifications, this is my personal opinion, uh, as a, a start of a learning journey. Uh, and sort of a validation that we're at least starting to consider certain things. That the PMI has, a, a, has an ACP um, is, is a great validation that these are methods, these are capabilities that are, deemed, that are important as we get into a, a time where, where things are more complex and we're dealing with lots of regulatory and other types of change and, and uncertainty, more and more uncertainty every day from a business perspective. Um, I, I, I like certifications because they start building, a, they're about building a, a base of knowledge and and a, a way for people to understand this person has at least a broad, uh, a basic understanding of things. I, th I think that's going to continue. I don't. I think there will be more of them. Um, but I think that the nature of certifications might change in that, uh, like take the PMP. It's been fairly formulaic and fairly specific. I think I, I would love to see certifications move to certify people in the, uh, understanding that things change a lot, uh, as opposed to following process. My, uh, just fin finally, with one quote about that. Um, we, we talk about maturity in software projects and other projects, and when we talk about maturity with people, it's about growing up and, and having less need to have instructions uh, or someone tell you what to do. Yet, our, yet how we deal with uh, maturity in other ways is, is more about how do we follow rules. Uh, Mark, if I keep wanting to sure, follow up on that comment. Sure, I'll, I'll chime in a little bit. I, I think certifications have a place. <clears throat> they certify somebody's level of understanding of something, but rarely do certifications um, certify somebody's ability to practice and to implement, right, and to accomplish and to lead. <clears throat> I, I interviewed, well, was in a room with about 30 PMO executives, and one of them asked the question, what do you think about PMP certifications and other certifications of the group? The group came to the unanimous conclusion that there's not a correlation between certifications and the effectiveness of PMs. I interview 150 PMs per year on average. There's no correlation between those that have certifications, right, and those that we hire. I'm not saying it's good or bad or indifferent, right, but I know they have a baseline of knowledge. My recommendation in the area of certifications is always complemented with experiential learning and training. Learn from a master, right? If you're gonna be a doctor, you're gonna learn from a doctor. Go through res residency, with someone who is a practitioner who will observe what you do, tune your skills, give you feedback. That's a missing component today in most organizations. People say they have process, they have methodology. When I get under the covers, I see methodology at the portfolio level. Um, I don't see very much beneath that in the way of helping project managers do their job on a daily basis, right? So get connected. My recommendation is get connected in addition with certifications uh, for people who can mentor, can pull you along, find an expert, say, I want to be like that expert, get some experiential training. That's essentially our model, the company I work for, and I'm not here to make a pitch, but I'm just saying before we'll put a project manager uh, and cut them loose, they have to prove to us that they can lead, right? They can accomplish um, the basics of project management, that they have the skills to influence, they have good, all the soft skills and things that we're talking about. I know your firm does a lot of PMP training. Do you want to talk about certifications? Um, I, ag I agree from the perspective that the training is a baseline. Um, how many people in here, let's, let's get the blood flowing, how many people have ever done either a Myers-Briggs or a DISC profile? All right, we all have. <laughs> Do we believe that that information is helpful in understanding individuals. Mm -hmm. No? No? I see some yeses, some noes. I mean, how many yeses? How many people? Okay. All right. Most of you. There is, when you talk about getting the certification and then actually applying it, there are innate 
capabilities that each individual has. And the person needs to be open. If you're a project manager, you have to be open to change. You have to be very introspective and say, you know, what did I, we do wrong on this last project to improve the next one? You have to be very focused on, not very focused, very um, in tune to process improvement, general process improvement capabilities. So I look for the project manager that's not saying, well, I did my risk register, I did this and I did that, you know, and they didn't execute on it. I'm like, that's not the person I want. You know, you want the person that's going to be look at themselves and at the team and, you know, again, it goes back to those soft skills. How are they moving that organization forward? And that's really, you know, when we talk about certifications, PMP is a, is a um, baseline. And then I'm hoping in the future that we will have more certifications, maybe more um, practical certifications with regard to soft skills. You know, how do you deal with the situation? How do you deal with the situation? Because that's the only way we're going to be able to improve. You have to be open to change and deal with different situations as a very well-qualified project manager, in my mind. So one of the things that's going on right now in the world is PMI has a global accreditation center. They're accrediting graduate degrees in project management. And there is a rise of those. So there are other training opportunities out there besides the certification. If you're looking for 2022, based on our conversation about PM being both a life skill and as a profession, what type of training do you think an individual needs to get today to be prepared for 2022? And Marty, I know you've been doing, we had an interesting comment conversation about that, so we'll start with Marty, then we'll move to Jack. Jack for the last couple look, looking at the future, um, the future will be different. As I told Frank, can he agree that, yeah, that's a pretty safe statement to make. Future will be different. <laughs> uh, this concept of certification by a memory-based exam, I personally think is silly. Mm -hmm. You don't get better by memorizing a bunch of stuff, equations, and the ability to regurgitate it during a very intensive exam. I see the future, and what I'm working at at the university, is moving away from the traditional training to more of um, simulations. Like we do, in, like I work for four corporation. <clears throat> we created a major simulation out of using SimCity as a baseline for evaluating the ability of young engineers, construction, civil, and their ability to understand the role of project management. And I see the future certifications being similar to what's done today for airline pilots who go through detailed simulations, the military, and other fields where we'll move away from this memory-based testing to simulations where your ability to respond to real situations, to crises, will be tested under fire with teams, not as individuals, but with teams of people. Mm -hmm. I see that as the future for, for training. I think the, the old idea of a classroom, instructors standing in the front, students regurgitating knowledge is, is the past. Jeff, what do you think about 2022 and what type of education a project manager needs above and beyond certification? What, what Marty said sounds like my ROTC summer camp. <laughs> 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 when we had that, uh, you know, you fall backwards and people stay me not catch you. <laughs> <laughs> things like that. We had one of, the, one of the troops got lost in the mountains of Vermont. The uh, captain that was in charge of that little group uh, it didn't look good with his peers. So failure is a, is a tough thing. You know, uh, the thing is, failure actually is what makes you better. And young people, uh, I know when I was that age, I didn't want to fail. All I thought about was, you know, I identified with what I did rather than what I do. And, and now later in life, I really am interested in whether I'm enjoying what I'm doing. And the thing about certifications is that it gives you some identity with an accomplishment rather than what your current capability are and how you want to push yourself to do even more. So as a hiring manager, I, I'm like Mark here, I, I look for, you know, is there a spark inside this person? Are they enthusiastic? Did they, would they be able to lead a team? And uh, would they stretch themselves to do things they've never done before? So that's my